Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to answer a question from the C12 January 2014 paper, um, a question that has been requested by one of the viewers. And that is question number 12 from this paper. Okay, so this question here is related to the new P1 syllabus, and this, um, the topic is radian measure. Okay, radian measure. So here we have a plan for the for a pond and a platform. The platform is shown shaded and is labeled A, B, C, D. So the shaded area is a platform on a pond. The pond and platform together form a circle of radius 22 meters and center O. So this is the pond and this is a platform you can say, you know, over the pond, right? So the radius center O, 22 meters. OA and OD are both radii of the circle. Okay, so that means that length from O to A and O to D is 22 meters. And point B lies on OA such that the length OB is 10 meters and the same for C on OD such that the length OC is 10 meters. Okay, so that's all shown on the diagram anyway. And we can see here the length of BC is 15 meters. And the platform is bounded by the arc AD of the circle and the lines, straight lines, A, B, B, C, and C, D. Okay, so from that information first, it says find the size of the angle B, O, C, giving your answer in radians to three decimal places. So we've got to find the size of this angle here, B, O, C, in radians. Okay, um, so what I've done is I've just taken this triangle Okay, this, this angle BOC we could find using this triangle here because we have all three sides of the triangle. So there's a few different strategies we could use to find the angle here, but we're going to be using this triangle over here, BOC. So we got this triangle BOC, okay, and we have to find the angle in this position over here. I'm going to call this angle theta, okay? Now, we have a couple of strategies to find this angle theta. Okay, um, one of them is the fact this is an isosceles triangle. We can split this triangle into two halves. Um, so you're going to have basically, um, if we did that, you would have, you drop a perpendicular line down because it's isosceles, that would be 90 degrees. And this would be equal to that, so that would be 7.5. And we could find a half of this angle because this angle is bisected by this perpendicular line. So this would be theta over 2, this would be theta over 2. So if we find this angle using opposite over hypotenuse, so we can say the sine of theta over 2 equals 7.5 .5 over 10. So we could do that. The sine of half of the angle that we're looking for is 7.5 over 10. So we can say theta over 2 is equal to inverse sine of 7.5 over 10. Okay. Inverse sine of 7.5 over 10. But we have to be in radian mode. We have to be in radian mode. Okay. So we are in radian mode. If you don't know how to change from this calculator, shift, menu, angle unit, then you choose what you want. We want radians. So we've got radians. So we're going to press inverse sine of 7.5 over 10. And that gives you your angle, which we then have to double it. So we have to multiply it by 2. Okay, because we only found half the angle. And that gives you 1.6961. So theta is equal to 1.6961. and continues. We want three decimal places. So therefore, we say theta is equal to, or we can say the angle, the angle BOC. Angle BOC is equal to 1.696 radians. Okay, so there's the answer. That's one way of doing it. We all, we can also do this in a, an alternative way. We could take this triangle. Oops, I didn't copy it properly, did I? That's better. We could take this triangle. Okay, I'll just put it up here for now. And we could just basically... Uh, use the cosine rule. That's an alternative method. I personally think the cosine rule will probably be easier. I mean, they're, they're both very similar ways of doing What's happened there? Sorry. I needed a straight line. Okay. 
So we could use the cosine rule also. And using the cosine rule, basically, what we have is we want to find this angle theta. Now, for the cosine rule, we know that the cosine rule, finding an angle, we can say cosine of the angle that we're trying to find is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc. That's the formula that we use. And the angle you're trying to find, so the cosine rule, you need to have all three sides of the triangle you're trying to find the angle in. And the angle you're trying to find is the angle opposite the side called A in the formula. Okay, so this is going to be 15, and B and C are both going to be 10. So we can say that um, the cosine of theta, what we're trying to find, is B squared plus C squared, which is 10 squared plus 10 squared minus 15 squared over 2 times 10 times 10 and that should give us our answer inverse cosine of all of that should give us the same answer let's see if we did everything right it should give us exactly the same answer as we got here so we're going to have uh, inverse cosine of i'll have 10 squared plus 10 squared minus 15 squared over 2 times 10 times 10 could have put 10 squared but no problem now, inverse cosine of that, again, we're in radian mode. It should give us exactly the same answer, and it does. 1.69612. So that's 1.69612. So there we have the answer. Two different methods. We have one using right angle triangle trigonometry, Sokatoa, two using the cosine rule. Okay? So both of those ways are perfectly fine. Um, part B says find the perimeter of the platform to three significant figures. So the perimeter of the platform is basically the length of all the lines which are forming its, you know, its shape. So the lines are outline of the shape, basically. So we can see that it's made up of A, B, B, C, C, D. So it, we've got B, C, which is, we already know is 15, plus A, B plus CD, and plus the arc AD, plus the arc AD, I'll just write it like that, the arc from A to D, okay, so BC is no problem, that's 15, we know that, they gave us that, that's 15, now what's AB and what's CD, well AB and CD are both the same length, and because we know that the radius of this circle is 22, then this part must be 12, because this plus this must add up to 22, so if the radius is 22, OA is 22, and OD is 22, so these two both, both must be 12 because they have to be give, make 22. 22 minus 10 is 12. So these are both 22. And then for the arc AD, so to find the arc AD, we need this angle. It's like the length of arc of this sector, the sector OAD. We're trying to find the length of this arc from A to D. Okay, now what we know from our formulae in a radian measure is that the length of an arc is given by the formula r theta when theta is in radians. Okay, when theta is in radians. All right, so some people might, um, especially when they've started um, AS, they might remember the length of the arc from IGCSE was theta over 360 times 2 pi r, this fraction of the whole circumference. All right, so where does this formula come for in radians? Well, what we should know is, from our definition of radians, that one radian is basically um, the length um, of one radius moved as you go around the circle. So one radian is basically the, the angle that you go through when you have traveled through the length of one radius. All right, so if you... Um, if you take that further, basically you end up with one revolution, one whole revolution, which is 360 degrees, is equal to 2 pi radians. Okay, because the number of radians that will fit in one revolution is going to be the circumference 2 pi r over r. So you end up with 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. So if you are, if we're, if we're measuring in radians and we replace 360 with 2 pi, you have theta over 2 pi, now we're measuring radians, so we, got, we change this to 2 pi, times 2 pi r, the 2 pi's cancel out, you're left with r, theta times r, that's where this formula comes from, in case you're not sure, that's like a side point just for you to understand. So all we have to do to find the length of the arc is take the radius, which is 22, okay, um, sorry, this should be 12 and 12, not 22 and 22, my bad, 
I don't know what I wrote, I wrote 22. 22 times, um, and this is uh, 1.696. All right, and I'm going to use the exact form. So I'm I'm sure some of you have already written comments in the in the comment section about these lengths, but um, you know I'll just leave this video as it is. I won't edit it. So those two were 12 and 12. So be careful, all right, not to make silly mistakes like that. You'll lose marks. So always check, and, you know, because I wrote 22 here. Thought, Hold on, how is that 12, 22, and 22? No, I wrote 22 instead of 12. Okay, so be careful about things like that. It's very easy to lose a mark here and there um, in these kind of questions. So be careful. All right, so now that will now give us the perimeter. So I'm going to take this. Now, uh, my answer that's in the calculator is this angle. So what I'll do, I'll just, I'll just, um, what I can do, this is now my answer. Like, that's the answer in the calculator. When I press answer, that's what will show up. So I can just do 15 plus 12 plus another 12 plus... 22 times the answer the last answer which was the angle that we found in this more exact form and that will give us 76.314 76.314 um 314 okay it continues on like that three significant figures okay so therefore we can say the perimeter is equal to 76.3 meters 76.3 meters that's the perimeter of this shape okay now we have to go on to part c okay part c it says find the area of the platform again to three significant figures so what we got to do is find the area of this shape here so we we know the angle theta okay um we know that's the angle here so if we're trying to find the area of the shaded figure if you think about this whole figure here, this, this part here, you have like a sector of a circle and inside it you have a triangle. If you take the area of this triangle away from the whole sector, you're left with the shaded area. So if we take the area of, if we take the area of the sector AOD and you subtract from it the area of the triangle B O C we've got the area that we want okay so how do we find the area of a sector now we know the area of a sector is given by the formula a half r squared theta when you're measuring in radians okay and we can look at the origins of this as well we know from igcse that if you're de dealing in degrees theta over 360 theta in degrees over 360 times pi r squared is the area that fraction of the whole area of the whole circle okay and if you're dealing with radians if we take change the degrees to radians this is going to be 2 pi 360 is 2 pi times pi r squared the pi's cancel out you're left with theta over 2 times r squared which is a half r squared theta so that's where this formula comes from but this is only used when the angle is given in radians okay not in degrees in degrees you use this so we've got in radians and we've been asked to use radians so we're going to use this formula here for the area of the sector Okay, and the area of a triangle, if you know the angle um, between two sides in a triangle, you can find the area by the formula, a half AB sine of the angle between them. Okay, so a half times 10 times 10 times the sine of theta will give us the answer. Okay, so if we go back here and just, that that was the, the, the last answer. The angle answer so we know that theta is 1.696 okay that's equal to 1.696 radians so the area of the sector therefore is going to be a half times r squared which is the radius is 22 of this whole sector that's what we need 22 squared times theta which is um 1.696 minus a half times 10 times 10, which is 10 squared, half AB, both of them are 10, so 10 squared times the sine of the angle, 1.696. Again, we might make sure we're in radian mode, and this will give us the area that we're looking for. So, um, again, that's the answer in our calculator. I can just um, use that here, so I have a half times 22 squared times the answer which is what's in the calculator minus a half 
times 10 squared times the sine of the answer. Okay, and that will give us our answer, which is 361.854, 360, sorry, 0.854, 360.854, Okay, so therefore we can say the area is to three significant figures, 361 meters squared. And there's the answer to part C. And that completes the question, question number 12. Um, quite a straightforward question. The, the concepts behind it in terms of finding the things that we need are basically IG, IG standard or GCSE standard. Um, the only thing that makes it like take it a bit further is the fact that we're using radian that's all um so i hope the student who asked me this question understands now other questions from this particular paper which is a c12 january 2014 paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here the link for it will be there at the end of the video you'll also find a link over here for the playlist which deals with radian measure from p1 which this topic is taken from um, from the edXL syllabus and um, that's the international A level and if you want to subscribe to my channel you can click on this link and the link at the top here will take you to a video which shows you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for whether it's IGCSE, A level, edXL, A level, Cambridge, whichever you're looking for all the material I have there's some index kind of um, um, links which you can find um, learn how to find by watching that video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.